I give God all the praises. DLD who conquered evil forces. I don't trust in chat, we it's the fortresses. Yeah, what about faith? I don't follow trends. Say that with my chest. No, I will not bend. I don't follow trends. Say that with my chest. No, I will not bend. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out 2-25. to 25. Terry to get the drive started. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now a first carry for their fullback. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. Allen going to go on fourth down. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. On first down, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 38. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To throw on second and six, Allen. Singletary loses it. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. The 20, 10, 
And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Now Tua on the bootleg here. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Let's give credit to the defense. they got plenty of bodies to the point of attack and stuff the run. But I just wonder if the offensive line let down a little bit, knowing that the big guy was getting the ball, and he's expected him to pick up a first. Sneak it here. Try to wedge his way in there. No signal. I don't think he got there. He did it. They try to sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. And the Bills' goal line stand is going to get him the football back. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. The give to the fullback on the dive. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Throwing his Allen on third. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 10. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, got the safe completion on third. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And he fires one that's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So, Charles, our first points of the game provided defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves, that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7-0. Jason Sanders, the kickoff So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Half 85, half 85. From the 31, Allen. Escape. Allen hit. He lost the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. 
This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play calls seem to be okay. They're just not executing. On first and ten, it's Mostert. They find some open field here. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, 31 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. To throw once more on second and ten. Allen, a quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock alert, one away, alert, alert. it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. now is Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. 56, 56. And again, it's Allen. Caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 29-yard line. Left side caught by Diggs. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. From the 24, Allen. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting him with a sack, and it brings up third down. When you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. 
So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Allen will try again on second down. And Cook has it. Left side. The ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. On second and ten, Tua, they're going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. We talk about just coming in and completely seizing momentum. They can go up 21 to nothing here. We haven't even hit halftime. And the other part of this, you can start to feel the unrest here in the stadium. I think these fans are saying, what hit us? And this isn't about fantasy points. This is about rooting their team on. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 21 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. A break there for this offense as they will get a chance to start at the 40-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 42. Give Singletary right side. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down.
congratulate the whole team. Cause when you riding like we riding with each other, yeah. ain't no yeah. I in this. See, we came up from the bottom, me and squad got it. Squad got and we made it through them problems, now it's God by the God. We eat, sleep, breathe this. Wave till they see sick. Do it right the first time, they all try to read me. Yeah, they grind it, but we grind it if this. Tell them they time is ticking. But we time a fish. fish. Better not leave a minute, stop it. Something like the goat off in that pocket, whole squizzy riding with me, who gon' stop it? My day ones, yeah, the dance at the beginning, so you know it's only right, that's how we hit Came all the way from losing to win yeah, I did it, but it ain't just me, it's the whole team, share it with the whole team, congratulate the whole team, go when you riding like we riding with each other, ain't no eyewitness, it's the whole team, share it with the whole team. Congratulate the whole EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins. Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And right away, they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play? and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Birdie will set up to throw it here. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute ball. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Purdy. And that is incomplete. So, 0 for 2 throwing the football in a very quick three and out to start the game. are going to be decided as the game goes on. But bottom line is, that's not the quick start that every team looks for when they begin a game. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Here's Hill on the return. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And it'll be Dolphin football. Dolphins now with a first and 10 at about the 32. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Second and two. Pick up. 
First carry for Raheem Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Three and a half to go, first quarter. Tua to try again on second down. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. From the 7, it's second and 5. Going to the air, Tungabailoa. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. Here we and go. on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing now is Chugga by Lower. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. Back to back incompletions of what was once a nice drive, stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down there. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Here we go. Here we go. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Lance. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. Back near his goal line, here's Lance. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. Two and now on first down. And going deep for Hill. And this is taken in at the five. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 44 yards. And the Dolphins will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 7 to the game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. On second and nine, Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they're going to get this up to midfield. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From midfield, here's Lance. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he can get out of the backfield. his Lance on third down. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And this one dropped in the end zone. Oh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. And they'll go for it. Lance tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Tua sets up to pass it. A quick slant to Hill. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Tua now on first down. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's got his tight end, Gasicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. From 13-yard town. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that'll make the score 14 to 0. Now, after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time it's third and 3 to throw. It's Lance. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that. That maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things. In any event, he's got to get it figured out and in a hurry. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And he's got his tight end, Gasicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead.